I'm Adam Moss, and this is Moss Models. Today, we're gonna talk about the flap to elevator mix. Now, this is one that confuses a lot of people because it does work a little bit differently than it does in, for example, Spectrum. Uh, that is because of the differences in how mixer logic stacks in Ethos versus in Spectrum. In Spectrum, if you mix from the flaps function to the elevator function, there's nothing confusing about that because you get the output of the flaps function, use that as your input, and it goes directly to your output of the elevator function. In Ethos, it's actually a little bit more complex because of the ability to stack mixers on a given channel. Now, in Ethos, when you want the output of a function, you take the channel that that function output to. Uh, this is a mixer channel, and I just want to be clear that the only relationship between mixer channels and output channels is they are mapped one to one. If you output to a mixer channel, the summary of all the mixers of that output to that channel are taken as the input to the output channel that gets sent over RF. This is something I'm going to have to do a much more in-depth video on because it gets complex qu quickly in Ethos in a way it just simply does not in Spectrum. However, this does confuse some folks because if you want your elevator compensation on your flaps to match your flaps speed, you got to do something that's not expected. And we're going to go over that in this video. So I have a default a model set up. This is essentially a default module model uh, that I've created. I added two flaps in the wizard. That's it. And then I did a little bit of quick setup on the flap mixer. So we're just going to go in there and I'll show you what I did. So you got the flaps mixer here. You notice it says dash SC. That's negative SC. That is, and I'm going to go over that right now. So SC is this switch right here. Now up is minus 100, down is plus 100. You'll notice up here is at the plus 100 spot there. That's because I want this to be my flaps up, I want this to be my flaps down. And by default, you get the exact opposite. So what I did was when I set my input, so you got the three little three line hamburger there. I long press this afterwards and I check the negative box. This is, I'll just uncheck this right now and I'll show you what happens. So let's go back out. Let's go look at the outputs for the flaps. Outputs, page two. Here's your flaps channels. This is what I use as the up position. And I have a one second slow up and a two second slow down set. So it should go twice as fast up as down. Now you go, here's down, that's fast, here's up, that's slow. To get around that, I use that long press and negative, so we're going to go back and do that, because I want this to be my flaps up, and I want this to be my flaps down. So flaps up at plus 100, flaps down at minus 100, and I've got the opposite. Rather than go muck around the switch, we just muck around with the input, Back to edit, we got SC there, long press, check negative, and there we go, and if we go back, outputs, and the reason I'm showing out an outputs here, not at the bottom of the mixer, is because it's a nice bigger presentation. So now, we have plus 100 with the switch up, goes down, that's two seconds, and it comes back up faster. The reason I want to come back up faster is if I do a go around, I flick it up, the flaps come up. They don't come up immediately, I don't get a discontinuity, but they come up quicker, the airplane's quicker, uh, cleaned up quicker, so it'll climb out faster. You might want that if you've got an aircraft that is flying on the wing and not oversupplied with power. I know we always, uh, with RC, we almost always overpower our airplanes. The range tends to be from overpowered to ridiculously overpowered, but some of us actually fly airplanes that might be a touch underpowered. They can be fun. Uh, different sort of fun than something where you could reef it around on the throttle. 
but it's an interesting challenge. It's one I like. So I do set up my aircraft uh, that are less than overpowered so that I can clean up that aircraft fast enough and get that climb out in the case I got to go around. But so let's go back to that the mixer and we'll take a look at the rest of what I've done. So I haven't put a curve on here. My slow up is at one second, my slow down is at two second. Two channels, and here you've got the channel count. It's output to six and seven by default because this is also two aileron wing. I might use this uh, model in the future to demonstrate uh, how to do crow. And you can see there's you got you got your outputs there, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And the reason I inverted the source rather than just changing the channel directions is to make sure that slow up and slow down did what they say on the tin. If I'd gone and just outverted, inverted the channels, I would have gotten the positions of the flaps I wanted, but I still would have had my slow up doing my down and my slow down doing my up, which is confusing. And when you're troubleshooting something at the field, you don't want confusing. So now that we've got this set up the way we want, we want to add, and we're just going to go for about 10% on here, we want to add a flap to elevator mix. And what many people do here is very much this. They go down, it'll on the flap. Oh no, that's, uh, sorry, where's flap to elevator? Flap to elevator, right there. We'll put it in the last position. We're going to go, hey, there's my flap switch. And I inverted it, so let's do the same thing here at least. And it outputs to my elevator. Now let, let's go up. Now let's go watch the elevator and outputs. So there's my elevator. Flip, 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 flip. No slow. You also notice that there's one other problem, which is you're going from 10% up to 10% down. We're going to address that the way I do it. And that is, let's go back to the mixer. The first thing we're going to do, very simple, we're going to change that input. We're mixing flaps to elevator, right? Or that's the mix we want. We want to take our flaps and have that affect our elevator. Right now, we're not mixing flaps to elevator. We're mixing SC, switch C, to elevator. This is the mistake most people make. Your flap switch is not your flaps function. Your flap switch is your flap switch. It could be five other switches, five other things as well. It is not taking that elevator position. So we're going to go and we're going to go to channels and we're going to scroll down and we're going to pick flap one. Now we're fl mixing flaps to elevator. So let's go back to outputs. And there's your slow. And there's the faster up. Now it's tracking. Now we only have to fix the other problem. And that is that's zero based. So what we're going to do is we're going to, there's a couple of ways you can do this. One is you use a free mix instead of the flat elevator mix. You set an offset, you set a weight, you make sure your offset matches your weight. It all works good, but you got to change. Anytime you change something, you got to do two things. I'm going to do something here. And this is actually a curve that you can reuse all the time. I'm going to add a curve. We're going to call it flap to E L E type is custom. And we're going to make this a two point curve and you'll find I use two point curves an awful lot to condition inputs. Specifically, what I do is I have either a minus 100, which is what this is. This one's going to be a minus 100 to zero curve. The second one I do is a zero to 100 curve. Those are my gain curves. I do these all the time because what they do is they condition the input and you can see now, See how it was went through zero before it went through zero and was at 10% and there. Now that curve is zero at the up 
and we'll go to the outputs and you can see the elevators right now it's zero and it goes down exactly what we want there's a minus five and zero in this case you only have your flaps affecting your elevators when the flaps are deployed all the way up there's zero input there's no effect on the flaps so that has conditioned your flap to elevator mix uh, i do kind of wish this was the default setup but it's not so we'll ha we live with uh, having to throw a curve in there you've got the opportunity to create a dozens of curves in ethos so don't hesitate to use them use them they're here for stuff like this they're super easy to set up super easy to edit uh, like as you saw i took me less than 30 seconds to create the curve needed and that's really it now the next thing you do is you go adjust your your weighting and note because of how i set that curve up you only have to edit the weight so you see how that's got a hamburger let's try something fun a long press use a source we're going to go to trims and t6 and we'll just set that to 10 percent which is where it was right now and i'm just gonna let me zoom out a little T6 is right here, and I just adjusted that to get my weight. So now I can fly around and I can adjust it. The one downside of using this versus using a, uh, a flight mode is that is that you only get adjustable weight for the whole thing. So if you adjust it for flaps all the way down, you're going to have uh you're gonna have the wrong value for flaps the middle flaps position uh this that's what flight modes are for at least in ethos 148 which is the one we're running this this solution will work in 1314 i don't know if it works before 13 because uh it, we've steadily been adding uh, boxes that we can assign sources to over the development of ethos so the older the version you're running the less likely you're going to have the ability to add uh, trimmers in useful spots it's just it's the evolution as people go hey this would be useful the, the uh, it's been getting added there's some cool stuff coming in 150 that actually addresses that and we would actually be able to use a three-point curve it's fully adjustable in 150 and adjust it with that trimmer and when 150 comes out i will show you how to do that because it's bloody cool it uses the new vars which are not of our mix they're similar but oh, rather more powerful than either varmix or a gvar uh, from OpenTX or EdgeTX, so they're common. The way you can use them is incredible, but we've got to wait for 150 to ship. So there you have it.